Hello everyone, uh, I'm Emiliano Capasso, I'm the head of PIM uh, of ACPV Architects. Um, ACPV Architects is um, one of the biggest firm, um, architectural firm in Italy. Uh, we are around 180 um, architectural um, and uh, we work uh, basically around the world. Um, we used to work more uh, outside Italy, we now we've been lucky to come back and have a, a good um, portfolio also of projects in Italy. And of course, we are happy of it. And our, our like, core is from digital to real. So what you can see in, the, in, this, in this slide is the Illy um, store in Milan, in Via Monte Napoleone. Uh, it's, of course, it, it's a merge between the photo uh, and the Revit model. And this is how we can achieve this. Uh, we go from the BIM management to up until the software development, all in in house. And how we do that? Um, this is the the whole the, the the people we have in 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 the company um, and the BIM the, the BIM staff. It, it's around 25 people, and but of course the journey wasn't wasn't easy. Um, we started in 2007, one of the first. Um, company being project and we grow and we grow up until uh, today uh, we have 25 people we have um, basically th this is all our team because we, we love to see to show the people that it is not just me and my deputy but we have a team of people and so and also uh, we have a team of people we use a lot of software uh, there is a cloud of software used and our role is to connect them all and so the the presentation is uh, how to make an interior design happy um, why is that basically um, we started with building information modeling uh, so because we love information but also even if we love information we need to manage information and this is not just something that we do that, but also the ISO uh, set, uh, set us up, so we're going in the right direction. And so we, uh, one of the core business of our company is uh, interior designer and FF&E. And we do that in Revit, everything, uh, from the sofa uh, up until like the, the, the entire building, we do everything in Revit. So, how can we manage uh, to make all these really nice pieces of furniture um, in Revit? Of course, you know, beam object, beam store, no, joking. Uh, we don't do that. Uh, we would never do that. Uh, so every time we find something like that, we just delete the entire model because you never know what you're going to find inside these families. And, and instead, we have uh, um, three people, well, now four, um, which they just devoted to model families and we don't model families in other software and then import back in Revit we really model just them in Revit and so what you can see here everything is modeled in Revit um, which of course we don't use just this normal modeling tools uh, the central of course is doing using masses um, but and these are not heavy families these are really really uh, not heavy families and we, uh, it's been a while since the, the first family uh, has been requested. Um, but we started to tracking in 2017. Uh, this is a live, well, this is not live, but uh, we have a live Power BI connected to the request. And we're now around 2,700 uh, requested families. Of course, we don't do everything. Some, sometimes we just reject so, because we, they, they just ask for something strange. And, what is going to happen is how do you deal with all these families? Uh, 2,000 2, families, 3,000 3, is going to be by the end of this year. And a lot of people, a lot of uh, architectural firms, they use shop, um, this shop file or showrooms. Um, but it's a good way to do it. Uh, the problem is this is the, sh the showrooms of just the lounge. So this is huge. Um, this is really huge. Uh, we had to split all the furniture showroom, and even if we split the lounge showroom, it is one gigabyte, uh, which means um, it's good, uh, but when you open it, and we're going to search for a family, uh, to open one gigabyte of showroom, it takes 
kind of 15 minutes and we do not want to waste time of, all, of interior designer uh, which interior designer using Revit they like uh, kind of mythical creature uh, they don't exist um, li literally we started to, to, to take interior designer and teach them Revit because it's impossible to find some interior designer working with Revit um, but uh, we always done this way we don't like this and of course, our BIM department, we pursue optimization uh, because we want, when we get an interior design really nice, really good, uh, they don't have to go away. So we need to make them happy. So what's the challenge? Um, when, when we design building and, and we put furniture in there, uh, one of the things we have to do is to measure. Uh, and also, the interior designer want to go inside the showrooms and go around and see what is one of the difference of one a furniture and another one. Uh, so how can we do this without opening Revit, without opening one gigabytes of a showroom file? So what's the idea? Um, then there has to be an enabling technology, and I don't know if. Uh, you know about this, uh, I think it's pretty going around LinkedIn everywhere. The IFCJS is really a cool um, Spanish guy which invented this, um, this, soft, this piece of software to run IFC inside the Chrome, basically, or whatever browser. And it's really fast. And we started to explore it. Um, this is some of a screenshot of our project. It's really fast. It, it, oh, it basically is as, it's mu much faster than everyone else software opening IFC. So, and also, it's nice uh, because if you develop on the web, you can use components, uh, material design, you can use whatever you want, and CSS. And, and this is really good. So we can, we, what the idea is to create this one, the Alessandra. Uh, it's like the old library. So basically, we took our, our showrooms and we exported them in IFC and we loaded them to a backend. And now all our interior designer, they can basically open it and go around it, measure them, and to open up this one, it takes 10 seconds compared to 15 minutes. Um, but the thing is, um, they don't want just to measure them, but they want to take that piece of furniture and bring it into Revit. How can you do that? Because we are inside Chrome. So we have um, a developer. Um, well, we have a couple of developers inside. Uh, I used to develop during the night. Uh, I decided it's better to sleep during the night, so we started to teach everyone else or a couple of people to, to develop. So we used C Sharp and XML, and oh, because we want to do nice piece of software. This is um, one of the software we created to automation. Uh, so we, we thought, how can we take the beauty uh, of using a CSS and web application and bring them into Revit. Uh, luckily, someone thought about that, and this Electron. Uh, basically, Electron uh, is a framework that you can take the web app and it's gonna basically wrap up inside an exe file and you can run into Windows. So now we got our really nice piece of software running into Windows and basically this is going to happen i'm not going to speak what's behind behind is the um, architecture of alessandra uh, we got two docker process and the front end is what's important because the front end is is the nice things you see before and electron basically wrap the the front end module and use um, an interface uh, between Ele revit and electron Basically, what's going to do is the main process. We're going to connect into the Revit context, like talking to each other. And in this way, we can basically send out from outside Revit, we can send messages to inside Revit. And basically, what's going to do is we open up the showroom. So we start opening up. Uh, when you click that, it's not an, an add-in. It's not normal add-in. It's basically an exe file because that button opens up an, an exe file. 
which connects with Revit with the process ID. Basically, uh, we create a pipe server. It's called pipe server because program has to talk with each other. And the way they connected is between this pipe server and which basically helped us to understand how many Revit process you have because otherwise the Revit process can understand which Electron process to, to speak to. So if we open up three Revit process, we can open up three Alessandra and they all speak to each other. So what the, 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 the main issue was how we're going to send commands. So we're going to send commands with three commands basically. Uh, one is if the family I'm selecting is already loaded, uh, if it's loaded, if it's not loaded, let's load the family. If it's already loaded, let's place the family. Uh, basically, this is all being done by uh, talking between buttons. So, so the, uh, when someone click on the family, the first thing, the Alessandra send a message to Revit and say, hey, this is, this is family is already inside Revit. If, I don't know, so Revit uh, answer back is if it's inside Revit, the button change from load to place, if it is not, otherwise it's just place the family, which is nice because um, you select the family, this is an umbrella, that's really nice, you select your umbrella and you load the family straight into Revit. And of course, when we have a lot of uh, different, for example, you can see a bed, but that's not just a bed, you might have a lot of different beds, you select the type of beds and it only plays that single type not everything else. This is, for us, was a really huge improvement. We, we're moving from the development of C Sharp to, to this kind of hybrid one, uh, because we basically develop and design only one time the web application, and in Node.js, TypeScript, and IFC. So no more WPF, XML, they're really, really hard to, 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 to do some nice stuff. We had the Electron, we had the pipe server, and we can start talking between Revit and, um, and the application. This basically is a lot of time saved. But not only this, there is also one more thing. Um, we own our own data. I mean, there is, there is a lot of um, third-party services. Uh, one is being bought by Autodesk, it's Unify, and there is also a lot of other ones. You have to give them the data. You have to give them all your families. We have 2,000, 3,000 families. We don't, we don't want to give our families to someone else because it's our core business. Uh, so this is not on the cloud. This is offline. And that's it. Uh, we, that is what we wanted. It's fast. It's really fast because uh, sometimes you create add-ins. The add-ins run on top of Revit, and they really slow Revit down. But if you decouple this, you have two separate processes. You can do whatever you want in the other one, and Revit just keep on going, keep on running. Then it is like kind of secure by design. Um, the thing is, as it's one of our core business, we don't want to people to have access to every single families. So they can just, if someone leaves, can take our 3,000 families and go away. We don't want that. So doing by like this, we just take off all our families from the server. So now to place a family in a Revit model, you go, have to pass by that. So either you just open it and download 3,000 families, you can just walk away with all our families and intelligence for our firm. Thank you.